The mystery of Edwin Drood represents Charles Dickens' final work, left unfinished upon his passing in June 1870. Serialized prior to his death, the novel delves into the enigma surrounding the disappearance and potential demise of its eponymous character, leaving readers to ponder Dickens' intended resolution. Set predominantly within the quaint confines of Cloisterham, England, the narrative intertwines themes of jealousy, prejudice, and clandestine dealings within the close-knit community. At the heart of the story lies the intricate web of relationships centered around Cloisterham's Anglican Cathedral, presided over by a bishop. John Jasper, the cathedral's choirmaster, forms a paternal bond with his nephew, Edwin Drood, who is slated to marry Rosa Budd, a union arranged since childhood. Unenthusiastic about their predetermined fate, both Edwin and Rosa harbor reservations about their impending nuptials. Complicating matters further are the arrivals of Neville and Helena Landless, under the care of Reverend Chris Barkle, whose presence stirs tensions within the community. Neville, drawn to Rosa, harbors animosity towards Edwin, sparking a volatile dynamic. Meanwhile, Rosa finds solace in her friendship with Helena, all while grappling with the unsettling attentions of Jasper whose opium-fueled obsessions and suspicious behavior cast a shadow over Cloisterham's tranquility. As the narrative unfolds, secrets emerge, alliances shift, and the fate of Edwin Druid remains shrouded in uncertainty, inviting speculation into Dickens' intended conclusion. Just prior to Christmas, Rosa confides in Edwin, expressing her reluctance to proceed with their planned marriage. Both relieved by this decision, they opt to keep their newfound understanding private for the time being. On Christmas Eve, Edwin joins John and Neville for dinner, orchestrated by Chris Barkle with Jasper's assistance, aiming to mend the rift between Edwin and Neville. The following morning, Jasper ignites panic in the village, reporting his nephew's sudden disappearance after being last seen with Neville. Neville maintains his innocence, asserting an amicable parting from Edwin, yet the absence of Edwin's body, coupled with the discovery of his belongings near the river, fuels suspicions of foul play. Determined to avenge his nephew, Jasper swears to uncover the truth. Despite insufficient evidence to incriminate Neville, public sentiment turns against him, prompting his relocation to London to pursue legal studies. Meanwhile, Jasper's misguided affection for Rosa leads to her flight to London, seeking refuge with her guardian, Grugis, alongside Chris Barkle and Tartar, who strive to shield her from Jasper's menacing presence. As Rosa seeks sanctuary, a mysterious figure known as Datchery emerges in Cloisterham, his motives unclear, but seemingly tied to Jasper's machinations. Following Jasper's visit to an opium den in London, an enigmatic elderly woman named Princess Puffer discreetly tracks him back to Cloisterham, harboring a connection to the events surrounding Edwin's disappearance. In the climactic scene, Princess Puffer, guided by Datchery, covertly observes Jasper at the cathedral, her presence underscoring the impending reckoning awaiting the enigmatic choirmaster. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.